Just finished work, Elizabeth. I'll be home soon. You must be exhausted, Dad. Take care of yourself. And thanks for working so hard. Yeah, it's been a grind. By the way, how did those tests go? Got your grades back? Oh, you really want to know how they went? I sure do. I want to hear all about it. Well, I ace them all. 90 or above. Hard work pays off, right? That's fantastic. You deserve a present. Present for me? For real? Thank you, Dad. Well, I'm heading to the supermarket. Anything special you want? Hmm, let me think. We had steak a while back at the barbecue, so no more steak. How about your special chili dogs? And that laminate with a green cap, please? You got it, kid. I'll make extra chili and we can freeze some to have any time. Oh my god, yes please. That'd be awesome. You really are the best. I'm happy to have you as my dad. This is all because you worked hard. I'm proud of you. And for a dessert? Definitely ice cream cookies. There's one more box of ice cream sandwiches if you want me to get that. Sounds good. I'll be waiting for you at home. See you soon. All right, you've got it all planned. I'll be home soon. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. It's because you work so hard. I'm proud of you. Um, hey, Dad. What's up? Is there something else you want from the supermarket? You're gonna get fat. No, I don't want anything else. And geez, could you be a little more delicate? I'm a teenage girl, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. What is it? The thing is, I got a message from someone I wasn't expecting to hear from the school today. Who was it? From mom. Your mother texted you? I really hope you're joking, even though that's really not funny. There's no way she would ever try to contact you. She disappeared into thin air ever since she walked out on us when you were a baby. Yeah, I know. I really didn't believe it at first either. It looks like she got my contact details from grandma. I don't really know why grandma would give her my number, but she did. Be careful, Elizabeth. You don't know what she wants. It's been over a decade, and she never bothered before. I know, but maybe she's changed. I just want to hear her out. That woman is incapable of feeling emotion. She's been gone for this long and hasn't said a word to either of us. She probably just needs something. I don't trust her at all. We're talking about the woman who left you behind without a second thought when you were just a baby. I know, I know, but she's saying she feels bad about it and wants to make amends. I talked to her a little bit and she doesn't seem like a bad person or anything. She seems worried about me. Listen, I know you've always longed to have a mother in your life, but that's exactly why you shouldn't have anything to do with her. You'll just end up getting hurt. Why were you just deciding for me? I understand why you're being concerned, but I just want to hear what she has to say, is all. Absolutely not. I won't allow you to talk with her. There couldn't possibly be anything for you two to talk about. I hope she doesn't think for a second I'll meet her in person. There's no way. You have no reason to get involved with that woman either. What are you talking about? She's my mom. Her leaving doesn't change that fact. Of course, I want to know more about her. I can't help it. If you're curious about what kind of person she is, you can just ask me. You don't need to go out of your way to try and keep in touch with her. How many times have I asked you to tell me about her? You only ever say she was the worst and leave it at that. You never tell me anything. I know you told me not to think about her, but I can just not want to know. I need you to listen to me. I forbid you to meet with her or contact your mother in any way. Forget about that and I'll indulge you about anything else. Do you understand? I don't ask you for much, but I'm very serious about this. But Dad, I can finally know the answers to all the questions I have. So anything is okay except for wanting to know about my own mother? There's nothing you need to know about that terrible woman. What exactly is so terrible about her? Tell me what she did to make you forbid me from even talking about her. You only ever say bad things about mom, but you don't actually tell me anything. Please, give me an explanation. She left you when you were still a baby. That's all I need to tell you about her. Forget it. If you won't tell me the real reason, then I don't have anything more to say to you. I'm going to stay at friend's house tonight. I don't want to see her face.
Sorry, Mom. Is now a good time to talk? Thank you for replying, sweetie. I heard you got into a fight with your father because I tried to contact you. So I thought you might not message me anymore. What did you want to talk about? Did you hear anything from Grandma and Grandpa? Of course, I did. They're really worried about you. They said you haven't been home in a few days. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. I'm staying with a friend at the moment and I'm still going to school every day. Oh, okay. I know it might be strange coming from me, but is everything all right between you and your father? There is no awkwardness between you two, is there? No, no, nothing like that. But when I think about it, this is the first time I've ever had a fight with him. So I'm not really sure what to say, you know? Right. He's no wordsmith either. But I don't want you to misunderstand me. I mean, he isn't being mean to you, is he? No, he's not. He was just being strict. Don't get me wrong. I think everyone has their own way of doing things. Your father has his reasons why he feels the way he does about me. Maybe it's not something that I have the right to say after leaving you. Yeah, you have a point there. He's just not good with words. I know his intentions are good, but he's not the best at expressing himself. Yes, exactly. He's always been like that. Funny to hear he hasn't changed his ways. <laughs> I know, right? Then, because of that, sometimes he'll be sulking when he comes back home. I think it's kind of sweet. I guess you two are joined at the hip these days, huh? I'm kind of jealous. Well, he is my dad after all. I can tell. You've grown up to be a really sweet young woman. I'm sure it's because of all the love he gives you. Maybe it's not my place to say this, but it makes me feel happy. But a little lonely as well. Elizabeth? Yes, what's wrong? I'm really sorry for everything. Oh yeah, I guess it's okay. Since the two of us have started talking like this, I've been thinking, even if a lot was going on at the time, the fact of the matter is, I walked out and left you behind. And because of that, you've had to grow up without a mother. You must have been really lonely. I'm truly sorry. I really appreciate your apology. It's been really tough to be honest, but I'm glad you're here now and want to make up for lost time. I've had so many questions that I've been dying to ask you. I wanted to talk to you so bad, but you were never there. But at least you're here now, right? Thanks, honey. I'm really glad I can finally talk to you. Me too. I was always so jealous seeing the other girls hang out with their moms. Do you think we could go out together somewhere soon? I've also been thinking that would be nice. It'll be fun, right? Elizabeth, this is just an idea. But would you like to come and live with me? Are you serious? You really want me to live with you? That's right. I'm finally in a situation where I'm able to take care of you. That's the reason I contacted you in the first place. What do you think? I really don't know. I think it will be a great chance to catch up with you. I think so too. I want to make up for everything we haven't been able to do in the past. Picking up clothes together, cooking together, all that stuff that a mother should do with her daughter. Yeah, I've also wanted those things too, but I'm sorry. I have to think about dad's feelings. You're right. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm really happy that you even suggested it. I'm glad we're finally able to talk each other. Even if we can't live together, we can still go out, eat out together and stuff. That's true. We'll be able to do things as mother and daughter from now on. Exactly. What about going somewhere with dad? The three of us? It might be possible anytime soon though. But it would be a nice one day. I don't know about that. I think he still resents me, you know. He'd probably be furious if he found out we were communicating like this, don't you think? Well, you're not wrong, but I'm sure he'll understand if I just talk to him. Of course, it's sad that the two of you got divorced and then you left. But I got really the impression that you regret what you did and you're trying to rebuild your relationship with me. Let's try and persuade him. Divorce? What do you mean we got a divorce? What do you mean what do I mean? Don't tell me your father told you that. Told me about what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is there something I should know? Elizabeth, could we talk about this in person? 
Do you have time? Sometime soon? I want to talk to you somewhere your father won't find out about it. Uh, sure, I guess. Does this have something to do with the divorce thing? Your dad has been lying to you. He's been trying to hide a very important truth from you. He's been lying? About what? What happened between you two? I really don't understand what he could be lying about. It's a long story. I don't think it's right to say it over text. And I think if I show you the proof, you'll be able to understand it better. What do you mean proof? You're making it sound like it's something crazy. It is something crazy. Something that will impact your future with your dad. Come and talk to me in person, please. Elizabeth, why won't you answer my calls? Are you seriously going to go and meet your mother? I told you, mom has something she wants to tell me in person. So I'm on my way to meet her. How many times have I told you you're forbidden from seeing that woman? Why do you want to meet her so badly? I told you already I can help it. She's my biological mother. So I decided to talk to her in person. I explicitly told you not to do that you'll just end up suffering more in the long run. You're not the one who gets to decide that, Dad. I'll decide for myself. Elizabeth, don't go and meet your mother. Come back right now. I'm not going back, Dad. It's too late. Too late? What do you mean, not going back? Why won't you listen to me? What's going on? Well, you see, actually, I already talked with Mom. She told me everything. So I'm going to live with her from now on. What are you talking about? I know you can't be serious. Please, just come back home. I can't do that. Anyway, you're not even my real dad. You are my mom's younger brother, aren't you? Is that what she told you? That's complete nonsense. My real dad died shortly after I was born, right? And since mom was broke, she left home because she couldn't raise me. You've been taking care of me this whole time. And I've been calling my uncle's dad this whole time? How could I have been so stupid? I'm so angry at myself. I guess the truth is out now. You're right. I'm not your real father. But what difference does that make? I've raised you as my own child all these years. I don't see what's changed now that you know. Everything's changed. You didn't want to look after me in the first place, did you? I was just a burden to you, right? Never! Your mother is poisoning your thoughts. You had a girlfriend when you took me in, but you broke it off with her to race me. And because I've been around, you haven't been able to get married. Honey, I never thought for a second that you were a burden. I had no problem doing whatever it took to give you a good life. I was the one who decided to take you in and raise you. I never once thought of you as a burden. I might be your niece, but I'm not your real daughter. There is no way I'm not a burden to you. I understand why you think that, but I'm telling you that is absolutely not how I feel. Yeah, to be honest, I was so nervous about it. Isn't that obvious though? I had no idea what I was doing. I hated your mom for leaving you with me. Why didn't you just leave me with my grandparents? Then you wouldn't have to take care of me. I think I was just angry. I was angry at my sister for leaving you behind and at our parents for allowing her to do that. So why did you decide to pretend to be my dad? It doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I couldn't tell you. I would never even changed a diaper. I don't know what I was thinking. There were so many times that I just wanted to give up. So I was a burden. You had just admitted it. No, listen to me. As I watched you grow, I forgot about all those feelings. Oh, so you mean like you got used to taking care of me? I don't really understand. Was I too much for you or not? I don't know how to explain it. You learned to crawl, then stand up by yourself. Then you started walking. I was so happy. Unbelievably happy. Before I noticed it, I didn't even remember what my life was like before you came into it. That sounds really corny. Aren't you embarrassed to say something like that? Not a bit. It was just me and you. Us taking on the world. We were the best family that anyone could ever ask for. Nothing else mattered. So I'm not even a little bit embarrassed. But mom said I'd just be in your way if I stayed. I figured you'd want your freedom after all this time. 
Don't just assume that without saying something first. I'm telling you, I want to stay a family with you. Nothing else matters. I really don't know what to make out of this. It's just my mom finally comes back into my life and then I find out you're not my real dad. So what if she's your mom? And what difference does it make if I'm not your real father? What about all the kids with step-parents or adopted parents? I know, I know. It's just, to me, we're not really father and daughter. I feel a little bit weird about everything now. Elizabeth, I still want to be your father. Even now, I truly think of myself as your father. I hope you can understand what I feel. Of course I understand. So I can cause you any more trouble than I already have. I know that now. I told you, you're not causing trouble. If anything, I'm thankful for you. Why? I never did anything but take up all your time. I don't care about that. I can't count the number of times I was able to do my best for your sake because you were relying on me. I can't thank you enough. You made me a better person. You mean I'm really not a burden? Are you sure you still want me around? Of course I do. I'll say it a thousand times if I have to. I couldn't stop being your dad even if you wanted me to. You're crazy. <laughs> do you still want to take care of me? What if people find out we're not related? They're going to laugh and make fun of us. Let them laugh. If you're with me, I won't even think about them. So come home, okay? Your home is right here with me. Thank you, Dad. I should be thanking you for letting me be your dad. You mean everything to me. You should have stayed in hiding or wherever you've been. You really outdid yourself this time, huh? What are you upset about? Is that how you want to come at me for not talking all these years? Would it kill you to be a little more friendly? You tried to take my daughter away. If you were hoping for a joyful reunion, you're insane. Listen, I appreciate you for taking care of Elizabeth all this time. You even struggled through some financial problems, I bet. And I don't feel good about leaving her behind all those years ago. But Elizabeth is my daughter. Don't forget that. The only forgetful one here is you. Yeah, you happen to be the woman who gave birth to Elizabeth. Nothing will change that but she is unmistakably my daughter. And I can't forgive you for trying to use her for your own ends. What are you talking about? I just wanted my baby girl to come and stay with me. No, you don't. You just want to use her to work around the house so you don't have to. Especially cleaning up after that new husband of yours, right? Wait, who told you that? I bet it was mom. Mom always had loose lips. I haven't told Elizabeth anything. It would just upset her. How many years has it been since you remarried? You even have a young son now, don't you? I thought it was weird that you suddenly wanted to meet Elizabeth, given your new life. So what? Did you interrogate our parents about it? You've always had a habit of getting yourself into drama. Don't you know how embarrassing that is at our age? At least I'm not trying to use the daughter I abandoned for my own convenience, right? Mom and Dad always doted on you, didn't they? They told me all about how it's too much work and that you need someone to help you clean up after your filthy pig of a husband. Stop trying to paint me like a villain. I never went crying to Mom and Dad. I told them about my current situation and that I was hoping I could live with Elizabeth again. That's all. You never change, Vivian. You're always doing something underhanded. Not really. I just know how to talk to people. Well, I guess someone as stupidly honest as you wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. You should try to use your head a little bit more. Well, you sure told Elizabeth whatever she wanted to hear. But you didn't tell her any of the stuff she didn't want to hear, did you? You already know you can't make her love you without hiding the truth from her like a coward. If that's what you mean by using my head, I'm fine with staying an honest fool, actually. Do whatever you want. They're too late, either way. Too late? What do you mean, too late? Elizabeth is a lot like you, isn't she? She folded with just a little bit of persuasion from me, saying she didn't want to be a burden to you or something. Honestly, she's such a sweetheart. LOL. Of course she is. She's my daughter, after all. 
How can you be so dumb? Elizabeth movies told it away from you, Billy. And that's because you couldn't raise her right. It's so obvious, but you're such an idiot you can't see it. You're the idiot. Excuse me? You're such a sore loser. Oh, wait. Don't tell me you're too stupid to understand the situation you're in. Vivian, why do you think I'm contacting you today? Well, it's obvious. You want to beg me not to take Elizabeth away from you. You know, maybe we're more alike than you think. Looks like we're both idiots, huh? What? Where is this going? Elizabeth is not going to live with you. I messaged you today to say goodbye. So you're not just dumb. You also don't have a good sense of humor, huh? Because this must be a bad joke. There is no way what you just said is going to happen, okay? And why do you think that? Because Elizabeth already told me so many times that she'll just continue to be a burden if she stays with you. She told me she was sure herself she was not staying with you anymore. So it's impossible. It's not impossible. If you knew her well enough, you'd understand why. No. If you knew her well enough, you'd understand that it's impossible. Of course. She's going to leave you if she thinks she's as causing you trouble by staying. You said it yourself just now. She's just like me, stupidly honest. So there's no way she would ever forgive you if she knew about your lies, right? Lies? What are you talking about? Did you say something to Elizabeth? I discovered the truth when I interrogated mom and dad. Elizabeth insisted on joining in, so she already knows all about how you tried to use her for your own benefit. Are you out of your mind? What do you think you're doing? Elizabeth won't want to live with me anymore. So, like I said, I messaged you today to say goodbye. Weren't you paying attention, or were you just too dumb to understand? Don't play games with me. You ruined everything. Elizabeth won't be able to take care of my husband because of you. Are you kidding? You left Elizabeth behind when she was just a baby. Now it's convenient for you and you want her back? You must be joking. Shut up. You're not even her real dad. You don't have the right to say anything to me. I gave birth to that girl. She's mine and I can do whatever I want. That doesn't sound like the words of a parent. Elizabeth is her own person. She's not your toy. Listen here, Billy. Do you think I'm doing any of this because I want to? I have to work to afford my husband's medical bills. And my son is still small. It's not like he can look after himself while I'm away. So it has to be Elizabeth. That has nothing to do with us. From our perspective, you're just a crazy lady trying to cause trouble. Don't force your circumstances on us. But I've had to convince my husband to let Elizabeth stay with us. We even moved into a bigger apartment for her. Do you have any idea how difficult that was? You want to just make all of that effort worthless? Well, there must have been a lot of work for you, huh? It must have taken a lot of time. Maybe you should have used that time to be a parent. How dare you say that? This is really bad, okay? If Elizabeth doesn't come live with me, how will our family get by? You have to convince her to come and stay with me. Come on, I'm your only sister. Big words coming from a woman who abandoned her only daughter. But Elizabeth will just be sad if she sees me suffering. You don't want Elizabeth to be sad, do you? So help me out. As it happens, I have a message from Elizabeth. This is the last thing she has to say to you. So pay attention. A message? What is it? Is she going to save me after all? I knew I could count on her. Don't rely on children at your age. I've had to grow up without you. Maybe it's time you grow up too. No way she said that. Elizabeth can seriously be abandoning me, right? You abandoned her first a long time ago. There's no reason she shouldn't abandon you too. You're going to help me though, aren't you? You're going to save your big sister. I know you will. It's been more than a decade since you left us behind. I think you're a bit late to appeal to my sense of family. Do me a favor. Don't just stop at leaving your daughter. Try leaving your brother as well.
After the conversation between my dad and my biological mother, I immediately blocked her. We worried about the possibility that my grandparents told her our address, so we moved house as well. These days, dad and I are living happily together, just the two of us. I'm completely estranged from my grandparents, who gave priority to my biological mother over my dad because they preferred their daughter. They wanted to keep in touch with me so that I wouldn't be lonely. Dad wasn't interested. I also don't trust my grandparents for getting me in touch with my mother, despite knowing what was going on, so I also think it's best to cease contact after finding out the truth. There was some awkwardness between me and dad for a while, but now it's all blown over and we're back to having the same father-daughter relationship as before. It's really sad that my biological mother left me when I was young and that she came back just to try and use me for her own needs. But because of that, I have a wonderful relationship with my dad. So maybe it's not such a big thing after all. I know he'll always be irreplaceable as my dad now and forever.